Today I'm bringing you some classic number 10s that you may not have heard about who could go on to become mega stars in FM22. <laughs> That's right, we're back with some unknown, unspoken about wonder kids that not everyone's doing all the videos on, showing you how good they are. So we're here to do that now. I've picked out six AMCs, you can play that number 10 role, probably play a bit deeper as well, who have got everything it takes to become some of the best players in FM22. Get them in early, get training them, get using them, and they'll be superstars. So we're going to look at them in 2021. Uh, we've got them in 2026, and I think we've got them in 2029. Uh, I've been trying to get this simulation to 2031. It's taking some time, so it's to 2029. So we'll go through them, we'll go through them, we'll show you what they're like, and yeah, and you'll let me know who you're going to sign. First on the lick is Alex Benya of Planet Girona on loan from Villarreal. He's 19 years old. Uh, in real life, he's Spain under 20s now. He's made it all the way up. Now, I know naturally they've got him as a, a winger on the left, inverted winger, but he's got either foot. He can play as an AMC, and if you've got that unpredictability with passing 14, vision 14, he's got flair, he's got agility, he's got anticipation. Like His mentals are already incredible. He's rated between 40 to 47 million. Uh, by Villarreal, Girona have done really well to get him on loan. He's got everything. Technicals are there, mentals are there, physicals are there. 19 as well. This kid could be incredible. Then we have the 17-year-old Matias Franca in Flamengo's under-20s. Look at that. Dribble and finish and first touch. All at 13 already. Composure's there. Flair off the ball. He's even got position in the 12. So you can play him as that CM and he's not going to get caught out massively. Tackling of 12 as well. 13 acceleration, agility, natural fitness. He likes to get into the opposition area. So you can maybe got a box to box. You've got shadow striker. You've got, he's, he could be anything you want him to be. He's already played 24 minutes for the Flamingo first team in real life. So they obviously think a lot of him. I think a lot of him. Spend 10 million on him. I'm not sure there's any clauses. Let's have <laughs> So he's got a 7.25 release clause for domestic teams and 86 for foreign. You'll get him for a lot less. And I'm sure when we see down the line where he goes to, he could be a bit special. Ivan Illich is a 20-year-old who can play all the way from defensive mid to AM. He's 20 years old. He's out of Verona. He's got two caps for the Serbian national team. I mean, physically, six foot, everything's yellow. Mentally, anticipation, composure, teamwork 16, vision's 14, dribbling's 14, passing's 14. He could play anywhere, couldn't he? You've got a Mazala in there, you've got natural fitness, you've got a box to box, you've got that AM with the passing, you've got a shadow striker. Oh, he's a very exciting 20-year-old. Kind of came through the Man City Academy. Really, he came through the Red Star Academy. Spells in that Breda. He, and then a loan spell from Verona's turned into a full-time move. And fair play to him. He, he's took that jump to play first team football. And that's going to do him really well when we look at his development down the line. Luca Romero could be the next big thing to come out of Serie A. He is... Argentine, I think he was born in Spain. <laughs> he was born in Mexico, of course. Uh, Eljo for Argentina, Mexico and Spain. He was signed from Mallorca, going to Lazio. They are really excited to have him. And it's it's easy to see why. Like 16 years old. Look at the mentals. Natural fitness, 18. Agility, 14. He's got pace and acceleration. Composure, decisions, off the ball, 11, visions, 11, his passing's 12. He's already got crossing, dribbling, finishing, first touch. And you look at all those, but he could play anywhere. He he could develop to be a speedy winger. He could cut inside a vertical winger. He can play the AM. He could have him as a deep line forward, false nine, anything. They've already got 19 to 24 million on him. They've got high hopes for him. It's 16 in this game. 10 years time is still only 25. He could be the guy who you build your whole team around. Alfie Devine is still only 16 years old, but he's so highly regarded in this game that 
the Warrington-born youngster who's made the move down south. He's got mentally good attributes there, really good physicals. Technicals could come on. He's only 16. But he, he's he got everything it takes to break through to this Spurs team, I think, in a few years' time. He just needs time to grow and then some game time, maybe the right loan moves to someone the Championship League one to get those vital minutes on the pitch. Alfie Devine is a potential star of the future. We're going to see how he gets on and if he makes that move. But English players, is you can see, they already value him at 32 to 38 million. So you think, use him. Use him wisely. We'll see if they do. Robert Navarro, currently playing for Sociedad C, 19 years old, can play along that front line. He's fast. So maybe he's a better winger, but he's still got passing 13 and vision 14 at 19 years old. He's got 15 first touch, 13 agility, uh, decisions 13. His composure's only 10. Hopefully that goes up a bit more. Yeah, re really exciting. Uh, He's got all those attributes. That 15 first touch excites me. Uh, actually came through Barcelona, then went to Monaco, and now he's a Sociedad youth system. So I want to see where he goes and how he does moving on. Probably shouldn't have picked this guy because I'm going to murder his name. Charles de Ketelier. The He is a Belgian 20-year-old. He can play striker. He can apparently be a left back, centre back, centre mid, left wing back, anything you want. He's left footed. He's probably more natural, but he's six foot four, attacking midfielder. You get him bursting in the box. He's got jump and reach 14. He's already got head and 11. He's got all the mates. He's got flair 17, 13 dribble and 14 first touch. I'll be shocked if Charles has not become a massive player in this game and get a massive move. Already valued at 22 to 33 million. He's already playing first team football for Brewers. He's going to get that game time that we, I always say is is needed. Oh, he's going to be special. Here we go. We're going forward to April twenty twenty nine. So it's eight years in the future. Let's see how these boys have gotten on. Starting with Alex uh, Benya. Let's start with his attributes. So we've got dribbling a fifteen, passing's gone to sixteen, technique sixteen, agility sixteen. He is at AS Monaco, valued 32 to 97 million. Look at all those mentals. The only ones that aren't yellow are leadership and aggression, which you can deal with. Jump and reach seven. Like nothing else that you need is, is, is there to worry about. He moved to Monaco for just seven million pounds. And then we've got, we've got goals, we've got assists. Again, he could still play anywhere. He's played 167 games in Monaco, so he's played, scored goals done really well uh he has only five caps for spain one goal yeah I, he's got either foot tries killer balls oh i love him as an am the passing the vision the technique first touch could be higher really really good player really really good player let's have a look at matthias franca now 25 years old so getting in the prime of his career he has moved to atletico madrid uh dribble in 16 First touch 16, technique 17. Look at those physicals 16, 18, 16, 17 pace. Runs the ball down the right, even though he's not a winger. Gets into the area, tries killer balls. Oh, there's an advanced playmaker. There's a, a dirty Mazala. Oh, he could be what a phenomenal looking young player. Mentally, composure 17, off the balls 18. This kid is something else. Moved to Atletico for 18 million, played the first season, then dropped down to B, but then came back up. And then last season, 13 goals, three assists, 7.07 .07 average rating. Kid, kid looks very, very exciting. Yeah, he's someone, if I'm playing a save where I can get him, I'm going for Matthias Franca. We said big things were destined for Ivan Illich, and he now plays for Barcelona. And to be fair, his attributes don't look anywhere near as good as it could be and he's joining West Ham on a free at in two months time like physically he's still a monster mentally very good technically good but it's just not it's not kicked on has he what happened to him played for Verona went to City back to City for 21 million should have learned his lesson then alone in Stuttgart 23 million pound move to Stuttgart got 10 assists 
Then got the big move to Barcelona, and then he's just stagnated. Playing for Barca B in your mid-20s is never good for anyone's career. Luca Romero, the big hope of Lazio, is now playing for Liverpool, and he's wearing the number nine jersey. Look at the physicals. 19 natural fitness, 16 pace, 16 acceleration. Mentally, composure, decisions, flair off the ball, vision. Work rate's only nine. That might hamper him. Technique, 16. Dribble in 16. I think he's turned him into a winger, haven't they? Elite attacking midfielder. Gets forward in our possible. Likes to round the keeper. Let's look at this career. So Lazio, 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 41 million. Only, this is now he's set, he's only played two seasons at Liverpool. But straight away there, 11 goals and 13 assists. 7.29, your first season in the Premier League. He lit it up for Lazio as well. Did he play, has he played internationally? Spain, Spain got him, 13 caps, one goal. Yeah, really, really good player. Still only 24 in this game. He could go for 200 million. If he goes somewhere else, goes to one of the Spanish clubs, his left foot, his resolute, monster. Five foot six, monster. Alfie Devine, still technically contracted to Spurs, but he is on loan at Everton and he's 24 years old. Physically excellent, mentally very good as well. Like leadership is only one that's lacking there. Technically, he's not kicked on. Crossing's eight, finishing's nine, heading's only eight. Passing's 14 is good. Vision's 14 is good. Uh, still 24. His value's not gone up much though, has it? Let's see what's happened here. Loan spell to Swansea. He played, got some minutes. Loan spell to Reading again. Nine goals, six assists. Brilliant. Then Spurs, 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 Spurs. Playing, but not quite doing it. So I can't, I can't really blame Spurs. It seems it's Alfie's own development that's, that's held him back. Still got time though. Still got time. 24. It, they've done all the right things as well. He's maybe, maybe not played as much, maybe. But yeah, it's disappointing. It's no disrespect to Celta Vigo, but I kind of expected a bit more from Robert Navarro. He is 27 years old. He looks a very good player. Like 16 first touch, 16 passing, technique, 17 vision. I'd, I'd have him. 16 anticipation, 14 composure, 14 decisions. This is a very good AM. For me, they're valued at 64 to 70 million. So maybe... He just enjoys life. Oh, Vigo, let's have a look. Yeah, they paid paid less than a million for him. And they got someone who's been getting them goals and assists all the way through. Averaging a seven all the way through. Now, where have Vigo finished? 10th, 7th, 12th. So it's not like they're, they're smashing the league up. I think Navarro deserves better, if I'm honest. 234 games for Vigo, 45 goals. He's got four... Four assists, five goals this season, just gone. He could definitely play at a much higher level, I think. We're destined big things for Charles de Ketelier, and he now is at Barcelona, and I can see he also played for Man City as well. Valued at 88 to 128 million. Let's have a look. They've got him playing anywhere through the middle. He's six foot four. Like he could probably play 12 heading, 16 jumping. He could play up front as well. Dribbling 15, uh, left foot. Acceleration, all the mentals are there. Yeah, 17 anticipation, 17 composure, 18 flair, 17 off the ball. Oh, he is elite. He is elite. 76 caps, 16 goals for Belgium. Went to City for 43 million. Uh, probably didn't. Oh, six goals and 12 assists is excellent. Then he went to Barca, 17 goals for Barca last the season before. Averaging up a seven. Charles has done the business, hasn't he? He's won the Spanish Cup. He's in the Belgian season 11. Spanish division top scorer as Barca won the league. Spanish Cup winners. Pretty pretty solid player, isn't he? For 50 million, Barcelona have got themselves a bargain and now they're just waiting for someone to even take even more money off them. Uh, playing for Belgium, playing for Barcelona, he's made it to the very top. So if you get to 2023 and you've got 40 million to spare, go and buy Charles de Kivlier and enjoy a very good, well-rounded, a bit of a different player with the height as well. He's a special player. There we go. That wraps up these six off the beaten track AMs that you can buy in your save and have a lot of fun with. I hope you've enjoyed these. Let me know. Have you signed any of these? Which ones do you now like? 
I need them. Let us know in the comments below. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel to see more of this. We'll do more of these positions as we go through the weeks. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. From me, Andrew, until next time, cheers.